Hey everybody, Michael Crump here today, and today I wanted to talk about the Xbox 360. So I recently picked up one of the slim Xbox 360s for a very cheap price. It had the hard drive and everything included. I did an RGH3 mod onto it, and then right after that, I decided that I wanted to play a game, and really, here's just what happened. I inserted the disc, it read the disc, and from right here, I decided that I was going to run the game, which was Crackdown, which is actually a mature 17 plus rating on this game. And I got this screen right here, which basically just said that this content's blocked by your family settings. Enter your family settings passcode to continue. Since this is a used console and I have no clue what that password is, there really wasn't a great way, at least that I found initially, of how I could bypass this. Obviously, I went in and I tried things like 1111, 9999, and 1234, etc., but I could never get the proper passcode. I even went in here and I decided that I was going to create a profile just to see if a new profile would make a difference. And well, it unfortunately didn't. So how can we fix this? So what I did was I went over to YouTube, I did a search for Xbox 360, remove family settings, and I found that all of these videos are absolutely useless mainly because there is a four-digit code that is at the very end that is always going to be different. So let me tell you what I'm talking about here. So typically you go into settings and then your console information, and you typically run the following button sequence on your controller. Now, this first commands all the way through just right here are always the same. So all of these are always the same. These last four change depending on the console, the manufacturer date, even the serial number. So if you had an RGH3 Xbox 360, well, there was obviously folks that has already looked at how you can remove it that way, but it really required quite a bit of work. Basically, you had to load up JRunner, you had to read the NAN, once you read the NAND, you would click on tools right here. And then finally, you would have that four digit reset code. Well, what if you don't want to open back up your Xbox 360, read the NAND, or you don't have an RGH system, and you've been trying all of these different videos to get the proper settings or the proper last four digits, and none of those work, which is exactly what I ran into. Well, I had a conversation with Microsoft today and I said, hey, you know, I bought a Xbox 360 today and I saw that it had parental controls enabled. I want to turn them off. And they said, hey, have you already added the said console on your Microsoft account? And I said, no, I can't get connect to Xbox Live, basically because I have an RGH system and I don't want to use a stealth server. And they were like, hey, can you add it by going to this URL right here, which is just account.microsoft.com. Well, I went over to that and I clicked on register your device here. And as you can see, Xbox 360 is no longer in the dropdown. But I clicked on register a new device. I got the serial number on the back of the Xbox 360 and I punched it in right here. And then I accepted the terms. And then the Xbox 360 appeared right here. Now, as you can see, this Xbox 360 expired on 2012. There is a reset passcode that will appear. And this is exactly the last four digits that is shown right over here. But you didn't have to do anything such as reading the NAN, etc. You're able to do all of that just simply by going to their website and punching in the serial number and they will give you the code. And so once I got this code right here, I went back to my Xbox 360 and I entered that button combination right here. 
And then it popped up this screen right here, which is exactly what we wanted to reset the system settings. Resetting this will return everything to the factory defaults. And do you want to reset? Obviously on this screen right here, I pressed yes. And my console is an RGH3. So if you do this, just keep in mind, it's not going to mess with any of your settings that you may already have on your hard disk drive. So basically it loaded Aurora back up and then from there I went back to my home menu and now it was asking me to set up everything again. So from right here, I'm just going to go ahead and pick English and for my locale, that's going to be United States. And right here, do you want content controls? So content controls help you decide what games and entertainment your family can access based on content limits. So by default, it was on no, but if you say yes, then it sets restrictions, which is what we do not want on our console. I want everything to run. And then for network, I went ahead and put that on connect later. It applied the settings and it said that we were ready to go. So I pressed go play here. When it rebooted, it obviously automatically loads Aurora. I have cracked down, inserted into my 360. And now when I press and hold the X button here, magic happens. <laughs> so here we are, finally the game is loading and I am super happy that now my console is working back again. So if you are having issues running your games due to parental controls, then simply just go to the account.microsoft.com, register your device, and then you will have your reset passcode. I hope this helps somebody out there, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!